You are looking at a dangerous mission. All of this to rescue 32 young girls trapped in the sex trade. This is a sting in Colombia that was led by a former CIA agent and a Hollywood actress. When the traffickers were arrested and the girls were freed, emotions ran high. How do I say you're safe? You're my Están seguros. Están seguros? Están seguros. You are safe. Those are two words these young girls never thought they would hear. Now safe from the world of sex trafficking. And it is thanks to a group of brave women and men who made that rescue possible. Two of them join me now. Walking Dead actress Lori Holden and Tim Ballard. He's a former CIA agent and co-founder of Operation Underground Railroad. This is a group tracking down sex traffickers, helping to free the girls who are trapped in that world and put those sex traffickers behind bars. Thank you so much for being with us, both of you. You know, I Tim and Lori, you both worked together. It was an undercover operation. It was almost like it was out of a movie. How did you do this? How did you accomplish this in only three months, which could possibly take the government years to do? Well, we, as an organization that's private, we can move in ways that, that big governments can't move. Uh, we're, we're real, we're, we're flexible. We can go immediately. We get a lead. We're, we're on it. Uh, but we always do work with the governments. That's important. We always work with them. That way uh, that we, are, we, we can ensure that the kids get the proper aftercare that they need, working with, with other organizations and the government. And, of course, if the bad guys end up in jail where they can't abuse children anymore. Yeah, in fact, five bad guys. You caught uh, five traffickers. 32 underage girls were rescued. And Lori, for you, who you as an actress, and you know, everyone knows you from Walking Dead, but you've done a lot of other things. And as an actress, you could show up at charity events. You could maybe volunteer here or there. But you chose this to immerse yourself in. Why? Well, it all began in 2008. Um, uh, during the writer's strike, I volunteered to work at a daycare center for HIV orphans in Kailicha, South Africa. And um, I worked with very um, small children, and many of them had been raped because there is the belief that if you have sex with a virgin, that you'll be cured of AIDS. Um, and I fell in love with these children, and to look into their eyes and just see this, uh, uh, this torture of, of their souls, it just rocked me to the core and I came back to the United States and I was um, I was enraged and uh, I met other like-minded people who were equally as upset about these human rights violations against children um, and that's when I got an education that not only was there rampant child rape but that there was also a market for it um, so my first mission was to Southeast Asia where I met with the International Justice Mission and with a group of volunteers, we went into one of the brothels in Phnom Penh, and we were able to bring a handful of girls out. Um, after that, I was approached by OUR. Um, they knew that um, I had been in the field, and I'd spoken in Washington with USAID, so they knew about my passion, and they invited me to go along with them to Columbia, and I said yes immediately. And let's talk about that organization, OUR. You know, Tim, you're a former CIA agent. You know exactly uh, the statistics that may shock some people at home about sex trafficking. That's right. There's, there's uh, nearly 2 million children stuck in the commercial sex trade. And, and if you include the adults, that number goes up exponentially. It's, it's, an, it's, a, it's the fastest growing criminal enterprise in the world, billions of dollars every year. And people just don't know about it. And I was shocked. The things I learned as a government agent, I, I worked as a special agent and undercover operative for the Department of Homeland Security for 12 years, working child trafficking cases. And it's just such an enormous problem. And, and we recognize that we can move in ways uh, that big governments can't move. Uh, as a private organization, and that's why we did this. And we still work with the governments. We work with the U.S. government. We work with the foreign governments we work with, and, and we go and work together, and, 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 and together we're able to, to do a lot more. And a lot more, meaning 32 girls in this one operation rescued. And, Lori, there was pictures of you holding these, these young girls now starting a new life. What happens to them after they're rescued, and what was that like? Um, well, what's wonderful about this organization is that they do a lot of post-rescue, meaning that we make sure that all of the girls are provided for. Um, when family services come in, they're fingerprinted, they're interviewed, uh, they're given a medical exam, and we find out where they're from. Now, if they have families, they can go back and be reunited you know, with their homes. If not, there are um, state 
run uh, rehabilitation centers where they're given psychological counseling and education. They learn vocational skills, so they're really able to uh, begin the process of healing and turn their life around. And they're given a chance. Tim, yes. how many have you rescued? We, in, we've been around since January. We've rescued over 230. Hey, Lori Holden and Tim Ballard, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.